and I just want to say welcome to my channel if you are new to my channel if you are not new to my channel welcome back make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video and comment below y'all know this is my skincare routine I will be doing a separate video on like my everyday skincare routine which most of it is in this video but I'm taking an extra step today just to kind of exfoliate get out of my get this the gunk out of my pores and you know just to show y'all what I do to keep my skin clear so the first things first, of course, is me washing my face. So I'll be using um, a box of Yardley. This is the one they use. This is what the, box, the bar looks like. And I'm just wetting this up. I would mainly do this in the shower but for the purpose of the video. I'm going to do it here. And the reason I wash it this bar first is because I want to make sure that all of the dirt from my face. And everything that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description box below. Right now I'm using the Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. Now when I went to get a facial, they said that I had a lot of dead dry skin right here but, um, yeah, between my eyebrows. So that's why I focus on my exfoliator. And I also focus on my nose. If you don't like a tingly feeling, do not get this product. I love that clean, fresh, tingly feeling so okay so this is what it looks like when it's dry I mean like when it dissolves it's really really literally like three minutes which is literally like three minutes which is enough time for you to like put it on while you're in the shower So now that I have pretty much my skin all clean and clear, I'm gonna do a green tea mask. So this is the green tea mask. It is by Charm Bath and Body. And the reason I use this one, I did get three from her. I got a turmeric one and I got a charcoal one, um, which we did a full video on us doing our mask over on our couples channel which I'll link that video in the description box below. I think I did a turmeric and my girlfriend did a charcoal mask. But this green tea mask is like an everyday face mask. It's for all skin types. Um, it is a clay mask. Let me see if y'all can tell. See, it's a clay mask. You do have to mix it up. So I like to mix mine up with a little bit of rose water in it and then also regular water. I got me a little cup. And again, it's by Charmed Bath and Body. So I have my little tablespoon, yeah, one tablespoon. And honestly, depending on how thick you make it, one tablespoon might actually be too much. So you can do half a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna take my tablespoon and probably not even fill it up all the way. There we go. And I'm gonna dump it over into my cup. Take me some Mario Badescu rose water, and I'm just gonna spritz it. And then I'm going to fill it with like half a tablespoon of water from the faucet. And you just add more or, or less until you get it to the consistency that you want, okay? So you may end up adding a full tablespoon of water, and you just wanna mix it away until it's thick and not ready. And I kind of just make it like I may have to add more of the face mask in and um, or either more water. I really do like mine to be really, really thick. I don't like 
it to be thick, but I like it to look like a mask. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want it to feel like water on my face. So I'm gonna show y'all. So this is the consistency. Like you really don't need that much. And y'all see I'm mixing it up with a um, makeup brush. And I'm just gonna apply it to my face. This may be satisfying for some and may be cringy for others, so here goes. And again, I like mine to be thick, so I'm just gonna go over the bottom of my face again. And just pretty much fill in whatever. Get it get covered. And if you want to go the extra mile, add just cucumbers. I ain't got time for all that. Cause I'm actually about to get dressed, and this is what my jar is looking like. I am going to set a timer on my phone. Um, let me see. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone for about ten minutes. And as you see, when the 10 minutes is up, then I will be washing off my face. I'll probably check back in at the five minute mark just so that you guys can see like how hard it looks and what it looks like. But it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't still feel stiff yet. When it goes on, it literally feels like, I don't know. It just feels like smooth skin. And because I did wash my face before and because I did the exfoliating before, my pores are really open. So the green tea is like seeping into my pores. There is like a whole list of benefits on her website for the green tea mask. I want to say it says the green tea facial mask targets mature, acne prone skin and has many anti-aging properties. Um, and it, she lists her ingredients. It has French clay, matcha powder, rose hip powder, coconut milk powder, and vitamin C in it. So I just, I love how it makes my skin feel after I use it. And I use it probably two times to three times a week, no more than three times a week. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, go off camera and probably like, I don't know, do some other stuff really quick. Then I'll come back when it gets five minutes and like start to change colors. Okay, so I got about a minute and a half, two minutes remaining. And this is what it's looking like. So it starts to get dry around your edges. And yes, I wanna just put a light on just so y'all can see. 
And this is what it looks like up close. Just so you guys can see. Now, if I didn't make it as thick, of course, it would be completely dry. Um, and you wouldn't see any, like, with the forest green, you would just see like the light ashy green. But since I did make a thick layer, because I really wanted to make sure I had enough product co covering every, every surface area of my face. But now at this point, I just wash this off with cool water. Some people will say hot, but I'm washing off with cool water just to lock in and tighten up and keep that firmness on my skin. And then I'll come back when I wash it off and show y'all how I finish up my skincare facial weekly routine. Ew, look at it. It just like comes off with the water. And you will feel a little tingling after this part, but that's only because your pores are wide open and you just got some stuff down in it. Oh, okay, I'm like, what is that? But yeah, so I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna fan it. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Vaseline to my dry skin part, which is like right here. No, I'll also add it up right here. Then I'm gonna take some of this moisturizing bath and body oil um, by Dr. Tills, the eucalyptus, and I'm gonna put a little bit on my skin. Now I do have combination to dry skin, which is why I put oil and all the good stuff on that I do. And now at this point, I would just go do my hair and my makeup and be good to go. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're watching the ads all the way through as it helps with analytics. Leave me a comment below. Girl, you can do better. Or, oh my God, girl, you can use these products. What's some of your favorite products, your skincare products? What brands do you use? Do you have any suggestions for combination to dry skin? But yeah, it's just your girl feeling vitalized, revitalized, and fresh. And I'm gonna go ahead and check in and check out, guys. Peace out.